Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone had it coming. You cause as much pain as he did, eventually it comes back on you. We should all be mindful of that. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. You go. Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman.
one, I know there's gotta be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. <laughs> if Phil Cody finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything! You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please, Mr. James! I You can help me, or you can <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime, boss! You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante! But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! Believe me, I know from personal experience. I know, I know, you don't kill your enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill... Ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got... A flair! Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
really think you'd show up here. In here? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. Selena Kyle, where is she? Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Look, back off. Now. <laughs> Jesus, man. No need to get all dramatical. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Seems more like he's trying to start a fight. But... Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our... mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I've seen his rap sheet. Just a string of petty crimes, nothing major. So he's good at covering his tracks. No one gets to his level without knowing how to keep a low profile. Besides, you really think there's another guy going by Penguin? The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selina. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. You care about your own skin?
done yet. They want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet.
whole city is already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. Alfred, I'm not in the mood for a lecture. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or you're your pay. Who's that? Deborah! Deborah! Was that you? Expecting someone? Maybe the penguin. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? Patience isn't my strong suit, <gasps> Mayor. Talk! I'm talking! You're not listening! I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne! There's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. His status. His fortune. What does Penguin want with Br- Bruce Wayne. The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! <laughs> Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! You can't keep secrets from me. I always find the truth. What the hell are you talking about? Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Until Thomas locked them up. Why would Thomas Wayne lock up innocent people? Anyone that stood in Thomas's way got knocked down, one way or the other. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. Please. Don't. No. <laughs> They'll have to go through me first. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. 
He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. <sighs> I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now.